Good afternoon everybody, uh, my name's Hugh and today we're going to be looking at this lovely Trader 535 Signature. Uh, I'm up here at Buckler's Hard, uh, home of uh, the Agamemnon Boatyard, which built um, some chap called, what's his name, Horatio Nelson, uh, his first uh, and favourite ship of the line, the Agamemnon. Um, but today, uh, that all just sort of in the past, we're having a look at this. So she is Seawards 2, she's a 2004 build Trader 535 signature, absolutely wonderful semi-displacement boats. Uh, let's uh, just have a look around, so I'll do you a quick guided tour, so here we go. Excuse the spin. Uh, so these were built in Taiwan by the Tarquin, or they were actually imported into the UK by the Tarquin uh, Yacht Company uh, of Emsworth. Um, these were built uh, to a very, very high standard, as you'll see when we go into the interior. It gives you a huge amount of bang for your buck, uh, and a beautifully built, huge amount of interior volume, uh, and a really strong, seaworthy hull. So as we walk aft, we've got a side entrance door, just here, on this side. Uh, the other side is not, uh, does not have a, uh, uh, an opposing door, it's really not needed because there's actually a really good access just through the aft saloon area down the stairs which takes you onto this lovely raised aft deck which on the signature series is covered by this large overhang. It's a separate moulding which then bolts onto the aft end of the flybridge. It gives you a wonderful protected aft uh, eating area there with a thumping great sofa on one side and a really nice wet bar on the other. So these boats were incredibly at home down in the med. This one has never been down to the med though. She's always been uh, as far as we know here or hereabouts uh, and her current owners have had a lot of work done to her uh, in the last two, three years just to keep on top of her. So there have been big upgrades to electronics. Uh, she's been gone through through a like a, a dose of salts. But as you can see, you've got a great bathing platform here with a 300 kilogram lift passerelle. Tender on here. Uh, I'll give you the uh, uh, details of that just a bit later in the, uh, in the specification. But uh, it looks like a brig to me with the little steps on the back and, a, and an outboard engine. As you can see, you've got these big signature windows. So those are hinged and they lead straight into the aft cabin which is a full beam master going right the way across the full beam of this boat. So as you can uh, understand it's a pretty impressive cabin. We've got on this boat three cabins so we've got master aft with an ensuite up forward to port. The galley is built in behind these two opening hooded windows here. Really good area with um, everything that you need on board, massive fridge, freezer, plenty of cooking space, plenty of storage space. Then on this one we've got a conventional forward double berth, which is right up in the bows. We have a heads compartment back here with a separate shower. Uh, and then on the far side over to port, we have uh, a, a third cabin, which has an under and over berth. So plenty, plenty of accommodation on board, and that's what makes these boats so very, very popular with their owners. So let's jump on board, enough of my yakking, uh, and have a look at her. So we will just head up these mounting stairs. Neatly provided, thank you very much indeed. Uh, we've got teak decks on here. They're in really nice order, actually. Um, as you can see, just keep your eyes on them. A couple of, couple of screws just starting to show a little bit of capping, but generally extremely good for a boat of her, her age and ilk. Um, big Maxwell compass up here, 60 pound uh, trader uh, anchor up there with a swivel on it, uh, self launching over a self launching uh, beak there. Um, we've got uh, controls here, also up on the flybridge and from inside. There's a uh, small locker there just for the gypsy that releases this the gypsy handle that releases the gypsy on top of the warping drum there and as with all traders incredibly good level of stainless steel it's really high quality beautifully polished out i'll show you some more uh, around the aft cabin but you just look at that that is 
absolutely good as when it came out. It's really impressive. No burrs on it, no welds. So that's the fore deck. Um, so the side decks run round and aft, and then we've got three steps up, and that takes you into that aft deck. Um, I've got the nav lights on, everything on board works. Um, she's an incredibly nice uh, order throughout, so let's go have a look. Uh, we're going through the aft uh, access, I think. So yeah, three screens, all with wash wipe on that. Side screens here. This is the access door into the helm there. We'll pop in there in a moment. Uh, we're walking back straight here. That just shows you that she was built by Trader. Big air horn up there. And being the signature, she's obviously got all of these lovely uh, stainless handrails. And then yeah, we've got this, which can be, so we can put a, a canvas screen in here if you want. We've got the canvas screen in at the aft end. I've just taken out the panel that goes down to the bathing platform just so you can see that. But this is what is an absolute winner, both here and in the med. You've got this phenomenally good space. So it's supported all around on these fairly monumental pillars. LED lighting upgrades throughout. So you've got a strip of lights down here. Really nice treatment of timber on this boat, all high gloss varnish. Got this L seat there, a couple of director's chairs here. Full functioning wet bar, so refrigerator in here. Uh, it's a smeg grill, then we've got a sink here with hot and cold tap. Not quite sure why I've left that coat hanger up there, so we'll get rid of that. Um, we've got, uh, look at that, you can keep all your bottles close to hand when needed. Um, access up to the flybridge, uh, should we joss up there? Yeah, I think we'll do that. That's the access into the uh, uh, main saloon. And then, oh, while we're here. This is the, um, so this is the sort of level of detailing that I was on about. So these are individually um, uh, wound so that when you close this, this has a thread inside it. Let's just do this, it says. Never working, there we go. Uh, that locks in like so. Unthreads. Real live action. Oh, hello. We have swans in the marina. Uh, and then this all tops back to there and not needed. Hello. Um, uh, so, one, two, three, four, five steps down onto the bathing platform, full width. Um, your uh, shore power lead goes in here. There is a hot and cold shower in there, whale shower. Um, we've got supports for the dinghy here, 300 kg lift passerelle. This is a camera so you can see the exactly what's going on on the bathing platform. This is the name of the boat. The hull plate is right down in that corner there and it's also up at the main helm so we'll have a look at that one. And these are uh, big man ship windows which open up to give an impressive amount of light and then we've got uh, a couple of fender baskets here and another camera up there just for good measure and as you can see the aft light is on so i thought it'd be nice to see that it works uh, massive massive amount of uh, mooring kit uh, again teak um in really really good order so this is kept protected by that up there so incredibly little wear uh, on it here. This is the operating switches for those uh, Davit passerelle crane things uh, which are up at the, uh, the aft end and this is this really nice seating area here. There you go, right up onto the flybridge. So flybridge up one, two, three, four stairs. Again teak lined. This is the, uh, the more modern version. So the old traders, the old 535s didn't have this wrap round here or this seat here. Um, they're a bit more rudimentary, but these are really, really well put together. Enormous storage locker underneath there, locker underneath there, storage underneath here where I put all the covers and stuff like that. More bottle storage, is there a theme developing? Um, this is the main console, so we've got a nice new Axiom hybrid touch screen there. You've got an E80 out there, which is giving us radar at the moment, but we can switch that between whatever we want. Uh, we've got a uh, Array uh, DSC VHF stereo, Alpine jobby speakers here and here. Uh, it's high, I'm pretty sure this is high nautic, it might be Sea Star, the hydraulic steering. Um, 
but uh, uh, it does the job and makes the boat go left and right. Uh, very pretty crabber there. Um, we've got uh, autopilot here. ST6001 plus, that will be an ST60 plus tri data. Uh, she is running on a pair of cat engines. Uh, they are um, uh, down in the engine room, obviously, but uh, they're operated by these rather nice co belts. So you can have these in this selection station. We've got um, this is from memory, this is a lock. This is throttle override, this is synchro. So they are uh, essentially fly-by-wire. Uh, you dial up revs, so that's you in forwards on the port engine with throttles port. So starboard, forward, dirt, dirt, dirt. Uh, we've also got a torque master, um, uh, what do you call them, bow thrusters here. And that, because I turn off the breaker, isn't gonna work. Still not going to work because I still haven't turned on the breaker. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, cat dials here, um, so these will give you. Uh, so it's a 24 volt boat, so this will give you battery charging. This is tachometer and engine hours. She's run 1,790 hours on either engine. Uh, we've got gearboxes port and starboard. We've got synchronisation switch between the two. Uh, then we've got um, temperature, coolant temperature. Uh, and uh, gearbox uh, pressure oil uh, then the same on here so that's going to give you a uh, bat alternator that's going to give you end charging that will give you uh, revs and uh, engine hours this is the sea fire system so down in the engine bay there is a fire suppression system that will automatically shut down the engines if needed and then you have a manual override uh, the boats are equipped with low speed here and here so these buttons, if you flick them on, they will drop a cog in the gearbox and give you a much lower um, idle speed um, uh, for uh, entering and leaving port. Plastimo steering compass, it's a Horizon 135 for Horizon 135 fans. Uh, we've got up down remote for the windlass. So that's it, got a fantastic view out. Got a big bimini up here, covers a lot. Really nice wrap round seating all in super duper order and then on the aft deck um so the sun liner which was a 535 version had this as a dinghy carrying deck uh, so you had a large crane over there with a reinforced uh, pole going down this one the signature this is non-structural so this is a bolt-on so it's a bit lighter allows you to put the dinghy down on the bathing platform as we've just seen there allows us to carry up here um, two uh, six-man life rafts so there's um, uh, your scan strut thing for your uh, Raymarine TV this is a Raymarine dome for radar closed antenna got a see me radar enhancer here which makes you a bigger dot to any marauding tankers uh, wanting to uh, come and check you out uh, and that's the flybridge really Obviously this huge area up here can all be um, sun padded out and made into an enormous sun terrace. And that's why it's got that little bar around the side so you can't fall off. All uh, right, so we'll go down below. Ugh. So yeah, teak deck here, absolutely spot on. Uh, we're going through the aft doors. Um, right, so there were various layouts of these. This is a really sensible one. So we've got a little curved stair that comes down. She's equipped with Bose sound system. We have here an EPIRB, which is a positioning beacon, distress beacon thing. There we go. That is Seawiz 2's main saloon. So we'll just drop down a level. There we go. So you've got your main helm up here, TV on a high-low lift there, two-seater sofa, or if you're feeling really lazy, it's for one. And you have the main stair for coming in. I'm just going to drop the TV. You like this. There we go. So we've got a big TV cabinet here with um, uh, things that do clever things with sky and things like that. Um, so that will just get out of the way. Main helm position is up here. So main helm, side opening door, booze locker underneath, so that's bottles and that's glasses. 
Um, this shows that she was built to uh, uh, category A design class. So that's you see, uh, Trader 535. Max people on board, persons on board is 11 uh, with uh, 1,155 kilograms of luggage. Uh, design cat A. There you go. So that shows that she's road legal in the EU, which we're not. Uh, tank watch monitor shows how much stuff you've got in your uh, waste tanks. This allows you to switch between uh, hot and cold on the um, air conditioning system. Light here. Um, we have speed, engine, bow thruster, bilge pumps, port engine start, autopilot, port tank level, HMI exhaust alert, uh, nice new E120 with radar overlay as you can see that's all whizzing around at the moment. Uh, this is going to give us depth, we've got a uh, water tank, we've got um, sea fire engine override and fire suppression, starboard ignition, cobalt, uh, just show you that these all flick on, there we go, so that's um, ignitions on, if we go one more, 1796 hours on port, 1790 on starboard, so all good. Um, Lenko trim tabs with indicators here, wash white with intermittents, battery parallel, horn, um, I'm not going to press it, upsets people. Uh, remote drop for the anchor then, oh, sorry here we are, uh, lights. Uh, this is a breaker for the windlass up at the front end, so you can uh, power it up or depower it. 12 volt out, and then uh, this is the saloon air conditioning setup. Not happy with that, they decided to put another one of the um, uh, hin plates here. So, GB Great Britain TQN Tarquin Boat Company 54, the 535s are actually called 54s. She's number 191. She was built in month F. A, B, C, D, E, F, which was A, B, C, D, E, F. Six month a year, so that must be June uh, 2004 to a 2003 model year. Um, so that's how to read that. Uh, we've got MMSI and call sign up there. That's a DSC VHF, that's the base station for it. That's another base speaker, and that is a nice newly fitted Axiom screen. So we can dial up whatever we want on here, uh, like radar and all that sort of stuff. Um, we have over here a, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, clock and barometer. Screens are all looking really good here. There's no evident water damage. There's a bit of bloom on the inside of the frame here, but nothing significant and certainly no damage, no staining on them that I can see. That's giving light down into the third cabin, this is an enormous area for charts. Storage, little drawer, more storage there, lights, more storage, really comfy chair, more storage, more storage. So you can see, and there's another drawer underneath there. We've got two tables on board, this is the main one, and then because they thought that they hadn't used enough wood, they'd use a bit more wood, so there's an enormous table that sits on top of the other one it lives underneath there. Um, aft air conditioning, another one of those uh, base jobs, and this is the aft bulkhead. There's some water staining on here. I think it's very historic. Um, there's obviously been some water just penetrating in there. Uh, it is completely dry. Uh, mind you, we are in a heat wave at the moment, um, but that could be uh, improved cosmetically if you wanted it to be. Let's head forward. So we'll go down and um, past the boards. So we've got uh, 12, uh, sorry, 24 volt and 230 in here. Just open that up. As you can see, it says AC alternating current. Goes through all of that stuff. Has the main selector there for flicking between shore power, off or generator with remote start for the generator. So that's your AC side, so we got 240 coming in. Very little draw going out, about two amps. Um, and over here, uh, this is DC, so we are uh, running at, what does that say, about 16 volts, yeah, so not too much on there. And it just runs through all the lighting, toilet pumps, all that sort of stuff. And then you've got your main isolators for engine here, and then domestic over here. 
these are all blowers for uh, the uh, engine room, um, which we'll go and have a look at in a tick. So that all sits behind there. Underneath here is a uh, bilge pump. Underneath there, underneath the forward steps, those can hinge up if you want. We'll go here first of all. This is your little uh, third cabin. Uh, it's got enormous headroom, so uh, it's got that much headroom. So I'm five foot dumpy eight, and that's got probably a foot and a bit above me, so that's like six foot eight headroom. We have here, sorry about that ladies and gentlemen, it's so hot that my camera has decided to expire. So I've just literally changed the battery and then had to uh, put it in the freezer to cool down. So uh, the freezer works brilliantly. Uh, so we've got lovely lights here, here and up here. We've got really good sized berth. Crosswise this one, so that's running um, bow to stern, starboard to port. Uh, desk underneath here, really nice. This is a great, great layout, this one. Um, there were another couple that had slightly different arrangements forwards with single berths or whatever, but this just works superbly. So air conditioning, I've had that run up earlier. Got the three drawers here, masses of power in this boat. So all her UK sockets uh, and her being uh, in the EU, uh, sorry, in the UK, uh, at the point of Brexit, she is uh, enjoying UK VAT paid state tuss. Uh, there we go. So, and look at this. this is, it's really super chunky stuff. It's just beautifully done. Look at that. Proper, proper doors. These boats are massively built. Underneath here as well, um, probably can't see down there. See how right here. How many manufacturers do that underneath the floors? So you could have these over carpets to stop wear on them, or you could have it like that if you're down in the med. Um, just brilliant, absolutely superb. Okay, so why not use a bit more wood? Well done, trader. So we've got this central lobby here. So we're there. So we're in literally wood heaven. I'm going to go forward into the forward cabin. I can go to there to go into the day head or on suite to this. So we'll try this one first. So here we go. Look at the size of this. So again, we are that sort of head height. It is just staggering how much room there is in here. Uh, massive island double berth, raised above two drawers. We've got cubbies right down the sides, uh, more power points as if you needed them. We've got reading light uh, starboard and port. Uh, we've got air conditioning controls here. Look at this, it's trimmed out in coral. Alcantara. It's just beautifully done. Uh, and of course you need a nice set of screen blinds. So that's mozzie screens for each one of these um, uh, port lights here. And it's just massively, massively built this thing. Uh, and you can feel it when they rumble along. Um, uh, blind here comes across there so that dead, dead lights that. Um, we've got a Samsung TV in there. Let me get out of the way of that mirror. Full length mirror. Uh, then we've got enormous clothes lockers here. A drawer underneath. And all of the lockers are lined in uh, this lovely aromatic cedar. So your clothes smell brilliant and you don't get uh, nasty, mossy, bally. So ladies and gentlemen, this is, I'm going to iPhone now to try and capture the last two rooms and hopefully the uh, uh, the engine space as well. Uh, the GoPro has given up the ghost and is in the freezer cooling down, but uh, it's not very happy. So sorry if this wobbles a bit. Uh, here we are on the galley. We have everything that you need. We've got masses and masses of cupboard space right the way around here, up here, down there. Uh, Fisher and Paykel dishwasher, uh, two sinks, microwave, four um, ring zone hob by uh, Smeg, and then a really nice oven down here. So that's a proper oven. Um, then over here, I said that she freezer with my uh, X GoPro in it. 
uh, that's the fridge so it's proper big stuff I love this look at this just beautiful so nothing moves when you're at sea it's lovely uh, we have washer dry down here I think it's a, a hot point voila and then you just got more storage in here that's bin and that's cutlery so worktop area here again masses of power points and in case you needed it yes there's some more storage up there so that's the galley area you have four steps up into the main saloon access down into the engines is through there so we'll have a look there in a tick but let's just move through to here so this is the great thing about these 535 so this is a 535 signature look at this for an off cabin it's not an off cabin it's a hotel suite so huge amounts of timber beautifully done with a nice satin uh, gloss varnish on it so full length mirror dressing mirror here air conditioning controls I had that run up earlier look at this you can lock that so your Rolex goes in there you lock that or your pearls etc all again just like this forward cabin it's all done in uh, beautifully done in Alcantara they put this huge seat there so you can just pop out of bed get yourself ready for the, the day ahead reading lights here uh, again uh, mozzie blind that way blackout blind that way um, these are enormous great port lights so there's a huge amount of natural light coming in here and then we've got uh, reading lights uh, port and starboard overhead lights all around ensuite uh, is there that's that mirror huge double hanging locker there air conditioning outlet sorry intake down there air conditioning outlet up here do, 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 do. Tickle around here there's a tv behind the door voila that's me um again loads of drawer space locker space up in there plenty of opening port lights all the way around another set of double lockers double hanging lockers Again, beautifully lined in cedar. All lockers down there. Water tank is under that berth. Uh, aft heads compartment with separate walk-in shower. So more lovely marble. Uh, that's that. That's the office trying to cool me, so I'll kill that cool. Uh, locker over there. That's another uh, head with flush controls there. Another really good sized shower with a little opening port light up there. And the boat is beautifully prepared for sale. I hope you can see this, but she's a she's a twenty odd plus minus year old girl and is an outstanding nick uh, for a boat that's done one thousand nine hundred and sixty hours. Give or take a couple. So back through the galley, and let's just have a quick look in the engine room. We're not going to do a full tour in here because I haven't got the camera or anyone to hold it, but stairs get out of the way. Another thumping great bit of chrome. That shows you the colour coding of all the piping on board. And down here we have a pair of Cat C9 engines. They are in beautiful nick. ZF gearboxes, port starboard big hydraulic takeoffs off uh this one so that's running uh your bow thruster up there we've got the hydraulic tank just in here this is air conditioning all around there is air conditioning pump up there we have generator this side battery chargers far side batteries are through there on this engine and then we've got up past there is the hot water tank as you can see there are shutoffs for the ventilators believe you me there are ones on that side as well uh, and then we've got fuel tanks are outboard of each engine so we've got control systems for the um throttles and gears and cobalt there we go so that is the engine room it is immaculately clean there is so little corrosion for a boat of her age it's unreal look at the engine foot on there that's done 
nine on eighteen hundred hours. That's an incredible nick. For that, they're clean as a whistle. Um, Berthon had them over last season the turbo overhaul, so all of that will be in the main particulars. But I hope that is relatively instructive. Oh, and if you're a real fan of engine rooms, see up there. Sorry, there. There's a camera, so you can actually watch your engine rooms as you're going along. Anyway, that is it from this boat. Uh, her name is Seawards. She is a 2000, Seawards 2 to be precise, she's a 2004 Trader 535 signature. She's available through Berthon now. Many thanks for watching.